Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Paul from Grand House Fun House on this great Thursday afternoon. I wanted to do another um, library shelf for my uh, movie collection videos. This would be shelf number 10. And uh, I haven't done one of those in the last, I think last one was last early August. So uh, I was jonesing to do this, I guess. Um, there's 18 shelves in all. So we're on to the second library and uh, we'll go through the movies on this uh, particular shelf. So uh, let's start it up right now with Masters of the Universe, some canon films, Dolph Lundgren, Frank Langella. I'm a huge canon films fan, but I have yet to see this. What is wrong with me? I don't know, but I'm dying to see it and it will be soon. So there you go. Masters of the Universe. Then we have Matinee, Joe Dante, uh, one of my all-time favorite directors. I've actually met him once a couple of years ago, took a picture with the man. Uh, Matinee is a great uh, homage to monster movies from the 50s and 60s. And uh, John Goodman playing a William Castle-like character, if you haven't seen this movie. Very much worth your time. So there you go. The Matrix. Who hasn't seen The Matrix? Um, super curious to see what number four will look like. I feel like they're about to finish filming the, the next one. So I uh, can't wait to see what they're, what they're up to. Then I got, of course, Matrix Reloaded. And I got the other one too, but it's in a, in a tote somewhere in the back. So uh, there you go. The big ticket item from, for uh, Black Friday 2018 Vinegar Syndrome was Mausoleum. And uh, of course it was a big ticket item. Look at this beautiful slip cover. It is a gorgeous. And uh, there you go, the original cover here. But yeah, everyone was going crazy for it. I got it because you know, I wanted it and I own it. It's, it's a fun movie. It's a fun little movie. The, the slipcover is the best, <laughs> the best thing about the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I, I still enjoy the movie regardless. How about a Trimark picture from the 90s? Uh, mean Guns, Christopher Lambert, Ice-T. Um, can't say I've seen this one yet, but uh, I am. Uh, it's Albert Pune, so uh, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, the man has a, a legendary career. So many, so many movies. <laughs> are they all good? No, but some are pretty all right. Uh, I'm sure this one will be just okay. Just okay. Then we have Main Streets, special edition. Martin Scorsese, first movie. And, uh, it's, a. Uh, Precursor to everything that came afterwards, but he already was that talented from the jump. Great New York movie right here. Mean Spirit. Mean Streets. Up next, some Bronson with the mechanic. Uh, I feel like this is, was post his Western career. That's where he kind of started. I may be wrong. There's more, uh, there's better like Bronson experts out there, but it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun action movie playing a, a, a sharpshooter, an assassin. So there you go, the mechanic right here. Then I have a sequel to the mechanic, but not that mechanic, the Jason Statham one right here. It's the Steel Book. Again, I have not seen this one, bought it. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this one. Looks pretty pretty cool, all embossed here a little bit. So Jason Statham, I should, I should watch this soon. I should watch this soon. Then how about some Raro video? Some Polidio Teschi, Meet Him and Die, a movie by uh, Franco Prosperi. And uh, this is what, it was a, a blind buy. <clears throat> Ray Lovelock is in this, uh, Martin Balsam, L.K. Sumner. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I do love my Polidio Teschis. I did a whole huge playlist of them on the YouTube, just to like acquaint myself with everything. It's quite the list. There's like a uh, hundred and fifty or so movie trailers, clips, so what have you. So go check that out if you can. But uh, meet him and die right here. Up next, 
a big turkey from the early 80s, Mega Force. There's never been a superhero like Ace Hunter. Uh, Barry Boswick, the mayor on Spin City. <laughs> that's, that's always what I, I think of him. Uh, Michael Beck from the Warriors, of course. Um, can I say I've seen it? I know I started watching it probably a year or two ago. Uh, Ten minutes in, I fell asleep. And then I went back to it. So maybe I'll wait for like a, a new Blu-ray to, to come out. And then I'll, you know, make the effort to watch it. I love cheese and this looks uh, right up my alley. So there you go. Mega Force. Then we have Memoirs of Invisible Man from Screen Factory. I feel this film is very um, underseen, underappreciated. It's actually probably one of my favorite Chevy Chase movie with uh, Christmas Vacation. Uh, John Carpenter, of course. Uh, not very horror, more sci-fi, sci you know, thriller. Uh, Daryl Hannah looking as hot as ever in this one. But uh, I really dug the special effects in this. So the, the way they... They made him invisible in this, and, uh, you know, it's a comedy, but not really drama. Um, I really liked it. People should give it more of a chance. An underseen comedy from 1990, Men at Work. Uh, the brothers Estevez, Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez, uh, playing garbage man. And then they find a, a dead body in a garbage can, and then uh, craziness ensues. Uh, I like this. It's a fun Saturday afternoon movie. It was directed by Emilio Estevez. Um, it's, it's not talked about much from either of their career, but uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So there you go. Some more Bronson right here. Messen Messenger of Death. 88 films release. Uh, this is a 80s Bronson. I've not seen this one yet. I, I try to keep a few Bronson from the 80s that I haven't seen because I want to savor it. Since he won't be making <laughs> any more of those movies anytime soon. Uh, so uh, this one was directed by Jay, Jay Lee Thompson. They've done quite a few movies together. So there you go. Messenger of Death. A disaster movie from the 70s. Meteor. With a, a bi bitchin' cast with Sean Connery, Natalie Wood, Carl Marden, uh, Brian Keith, Martin Landau. So Henry Fonda. This movie is boring as hell. I've watched it and it's long. It is a long ass movie for uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is. There you go. Then we have Menace to Society. There you go. Uh, great movie in the vein of Boys in the Hood. It was the, the U Brothers, I believe. And uh, Jada, Jada Pinkett was in this. And uh, yeah, Charles Dutton. Where is he now? We don't know. Bill Duke. Uh, great, great mid-90s, uh, early 90s movie. Midnight Run. I need to get the select, uh, the select released. Shout select release. Uh, again, another great like Saturday afternoon movie. Robert De Niro, Charles Grodin. Uh, Charles Grodin, uh, always a perskinicky, per pers what's the word? Like always like. Not angry, but always fussy, always like everything bothers him. <laughs> you know, it's everything sets him off. And uh, I just, his whole attitude, his whole being makes just a, a funny, funny man. And uh, right there, Minute Night One is one of his best. Right here, Aquino Lorbert with uh, Miracle Mile, Anthony Edward, Mayor Winningham, uh, no, uh, apocalyptic movie, nuclear holocaust happening. One Night in L.A. kind of thing. Uh, it's a great, great little movie. There you go. Oof, oof, I love this one. Mischief. Uh, <laughs> with uh, the very sexy Kelly Preston. May she rest in peace. Let's just say this movie is part of my uh, growing up, if you will. Uh, there's uh, quite a few scenes in this movie that uh, I had a tape back in the day. <laughs> Let's just say... Yes, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's in, this, in the 50s. It's a coming-of-age story. This dude wants to get with this girl, and there's a, a greaser-type dude that's helping, you know, score with her, I guess. It's not much of a movie, but just having Kelly Preston in it uh, makes the whole thing. I'm sure it's, I would love at some point to get a, you know, a, a Blu-ray release for this. Maybe Kino Lorber or something. That would be nice. Then we have Misery, Stephen King, James Conn, Katie Bates, Kathy Bates, 
Uh, last time I saw this was in theater back in 1990. So yeah, it's been uh, 30 years. I should probably watch it again. What do you think? For my 31 days of horror that I'm failing miserably right now. So <laughs> that could be a thing. Then we have Mission Kill with uh, Mr. Robert Ginty, Cameron Mitchell, the Cameron Mitchell, the, the legendary Cameron Mitchell, Olivia Dabo, who um, I remember best as Karen in the Wonder Years. This is a uh, Code Red release, number 75 right here. Another Stephen King adaptation, The Mist. What a fucked up movie, the ending alone. Uh, it's uh, still searing in my brain. Uh, great, great movie. I should watch it in black and white. I know there's the black and white version. I have yet to watch it, but I don't know if it would make a, that much of a difference. But who knows? Who knows? Then I got, recently got Mobsters. Uh, great, great unknown cast, <laughs> as you can see. You know, uh, you got uh, Christian Slater, uh, Patrick Dempsey, Richard Greco, Costas Mandalore. Uh, Lara Flynn Boy was in this. Uh, you know, a, uh, literally like a mobster movie. Uh, a young cast. I bought this because, oops, I want to do uh, uh, a series of uh, videos for 1991. So 30 years next year, 1991. 1991 was like my favorite year for movies because that was my year when I, I came up watching movies and stuff. So uh, I'm going to give this one a, a whirl again. Then we have Mom and Dad Save the World. A little comedy with Terry Gard, Jeffrey Jones right here. Money for Nothing, John Cusack. Uh, anybody seen this? Uh, this was a, a blind buy. I found this in like a pawn shop for like a dollar. I think it is, a, yeah, it is a Mill Creek uh, release. It's a John Cusack movie I've never seen. That's, that's rarely, if ever, talked about. So uh, very curious to see this one, Money for Nothing. Then another money movie, The Money Pit. Tom Hanks, when he did the, only did comedies in the 80s with uh, Shelley Long. There we go, the money pit. Then we have the money train. Money train, Wesley Snipe, Woody Harrelson, their next and last movie together uh, after White Man Can Jump. Uh, you know, a heist movie. Jennifer Lopez with uh, starting a career for this one as well. So there you go. Got some George A. Romero. Monkey Shines, an experiment in fear. Monkey Shines. Um, I know I've seen this so many, so many years ago, but uh, I would need to rewatch this one again. I'm sure it's, uh, I love monkey, crazy monkeys going at it and killing people, you know. <laughs> then we have the Monster Club with uh, Vincent Price, Donald Pleasance, John Carradine. Uh, you know, a, a gathering of these old school horror heads, horror actors from the 60s, 70s and 80s. Uh, this was made in 1980, released by uh, Scorpion. Can't wait to watch this one. Then classic from everyone's childhood in the 80s, The Monster Squad. I still have the DVD of this. I should probably uh, upgrade to Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, everyone knows about Monster Squad, Fred Decker. I got another Fred Decker movie coming up soon in this row. Monument Avenue, a Ted Demi film, Dennis Leary. Uh, Colmini, Martin Sheen's in this. A, uh, the, they call it the Irish Mean Street, I guess. And I know I've seen this. Again, it's one of those I know I've seen low these many years ago, but I can tell you a thing about it today. So it'll be nice to, to watch again right here. Then we have one of my f favorite filmmakers of all time, Albert Brooks. A funny, funny, funny man with uh, Modern Romance. Uh, I believe this is his second movie, I believe, with uh, Catherine Harrell in this one. This is a uh, Indicator release right here, number uh, 60, 86. But uh, yeah, if you haven't watched any of his movies, I would recommend any and all movies of his. They're all wonderful. Up next, Mortuary, Bill Paxton. Um, What's this one? Does he play um, like a, in a funeral parlor kind of thing? He works on dead bodies and stuff. He plays a kind of a creep. Christopher George in this as well with his wife, Linda Day George. Another Scorpion release right here, Mortuary. Well, another Albert, Albert Brooks movie, Mother, with this one with uh, Debbie Reynolds. 
He plays his mom, obviously, from the title. So uh, there you go. Another underappreciated comedy from the early 80s, uh, Mr. Destiny, uh, where he wishes to have a, a better life for himself. And uh, Michael Caine's in this as well. It's one of those like a Disney movie, Touchstone Pictures. The kind of movie they don't make anymore. Uh, Linda Hamilton's in this as well. There you go, Mr. Destiny. Mother's Boy, Jamie Lee Curtis, Peter Gallagher. Uh, I think, wasn't this movie shot here in Montreal? I believe so. I know it's a Quebecois director. Uh, yeah, Yves Simoneau, that's right. So there you go. This movie is known for that famous uh, bathtub scene uh, where her son watches her coming out of the said bathtub. It caused quite a stir back in the day, I, I do remember. Another Bronson movie, Mr. Majestic, right here. Uh, Kino release. Uh, more Bronson from the 70s. Uh, right in his like, action mode, right here. Then we have Mulholland Fall. Quite the cast, Nick Nolte, Melanie Griffith, uh, Michael Madsen, Jennifer Connelly. Uh, she has a great, great scenes in this one. Kind of made me think of her, uh, her role in uh, The Rocketeer, but way more, seri uh, more serious. There you go, Mulholland Fall. More Bronson, my God, it's a full row of Bronson. Uh, Murphy's Law, 80s, uh, 80s Bronson. Uh, right here, and uh, another with, uh, collaboration with J.D. Thompson. Uh, this one was uh, with uh, Catherine Willoit. And uh, yeah, I've seen this one. It's, it's okay. It's just okay. There you go. Sweet Baby Jesus. More Albert Brooks. <laughs> the Muse. With uh, Sharon Stone and Andy McDowell in this. And Jeff Bridges. A Code Red release. Number 79. Mutant. With Crazy Man Wings. Hauser. Uh, like uh, uh, aliens in a small village. Uh, um, not a very good movie. And this version of uh, the Blu-ray is DNR to death. And DNR is the way they, uh, when they do a, um, a repress, a re when they scan it and they try to clean everything off the, try to clean the, um, the film. Sometimes they go way overboard, and this is one version of, the movie, uh, of a movie that they go way overboard cleaning everything, and it looks like crap. It's just awful, awful print. Up next, My Boyfriend's Back, uh, early 90s comedy zombie movie. Like the title says, the boyfriend is back to hunt everyone. <laughs> Classic 90s comedy, My Cousin Vinny, Joe Pesci, Ralph Macchio, Marissa Tomei. My Science Project, uh, John St Stockwell, Dennis Hopper playing a crazy uh, science teacher. I know that Kino Robert is re-releasing this one. If it's not next month, it's the next and uh, with a better cover than this one. And there we go. Then we have My Stepmother is an Alien. Dan Aykroyd came basing her late uh, 80s comedy there's Allison Anagin as well and uh, Seth Green that's where they first met before they were on Buffy that's the movie they did I see that uh, the music was done by Alan Silvestri so so uh, for me that's a winner right there because he's one of my favorite composers then we have Mystery Date Ethan Hawke Terry Polo one of his early movies I think came out in 1991 um, yeah I, I like this one quite a bit, actually. It's a, it's a fun little movie. There you go. Some Roger Moore with the, the naked face. You know, post his James Bond career, I believe. Uh, it's an all right movie. It's a canon movie. Then we have Christmas Vacation 2, Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure. This was an, uh, a TV movie aired on NBC back in the 2000s. And uh, it's god awful. It is just the worst. It's a, it's a, a <laughs> tr trash fire of a movie. It's just uh, awful. Just stick with the original. But I'm a completist, so I needed it in my collection. So I've rewatched this this summer. Police Squad, the series. It's six episode. Uh, it's it is ageless. Uh, the comedy is still on point. Even it was filmed in. Uh, was it like 1990 or 90, 1982? And of course, it spawned the three movies right here. 
but uh, yeah, it's just uh, still hilarious to this day. Uh, Leslie Nielsen was uh, born to play this role, just born. So yeah, we got Naked Gun, Naked Gun 2, The Smell of Fear, Naked Gun 3 and a third, The Final Insult. Then we're up to Natural Born Killers, the director's cut. Uh, still uh, a masterpiece to this day. Still as fucked up uh, as the day I saw it back in uh, 1994, I believe. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's quite something. I'm sure. I'm sure most of you have seen this one. A fun football comedy, necessary roughness with uh, Scott Bakula in this. Uh, Sinbad, Hector Elizondo, Robert Loggia, Kathy Ireland. My God, what a cast of early 90s <laughs> people. Uh, yeah, I think another fun little comedy. Stephen King, Needful Things, another adaptation right here. Then we have uh, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Neighbors. Uh, never seen this one. I know there's a Blu-ray release that came out recently, probably Mill Creek. Um, yeah, very curious to see what this one is about. Classic 70s Network with uh, Faye Donaway, William Holden. This is uh, an Arrow Academy release right here. So there you go. How about the new kids? Um, this is from the, the retro VHS line. It comes with slip covers. So we got uh, this ugly artwork. So just stick with the original right here. You know, kids moving in a new town and uh, people don't like them. They try to make friends, but it doesn't work out. And then there's, uh, you know, James Spader, the asshole in the movie, going after them. And, you know, craziness ensues. My favorite movie of 2016, The Nice Guys, Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling. Who knew Ryan Gosling was so goddamn funny? Uh, Shane Black, when he does original work like this, uh, always a winner. Um, it just uh, so funny, so uh, it just it's the pace of this movie is on point. There's never a dull moment. If you want to find a, a great whodunit comedy detective movie, The Nice Guys is your movie. Then we have uh, The Night Before, <clears throat> again with uh, Laurie Laughlin and Keanu Reeves. Probably a movie that's not talked about at all from Keanu Reeves. Uh, he did do uh, It All Happened in One Night kind of movie. And uh, it's all right. It's a, it's a fun little movie. It came out in 1988. And this is the only release of this, uh, you know, besides VHS, of course. But uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Then we have Night Kill with uh, Jacqueline Smith, Mike Connors, Robert Mitchum. Night of the Creeps, the Collector's Edition. Classic, classic movie right here. The original, not the original, but the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the cover they would use for the other Blu-ray releases. And of course, I got the uh, Tom Atkins uh, doll that's uh, right here. I'm not going to show you, but it's right up there, hanging on my wall. How about a, a, a slasher movie, Night School, from our Warner Archive, right here. This is starring uh, <clears throat> Rachel Ward. So there you go. A snack case for the movie Night Shift. Ron Howard uh, with uh, Michael Keaton in his first starring role. And uh, Henry Winkler. You know, uh, they work in the morgue. And uh, again, craziness ensues. Then we have Nixon, another Oliver Stone movie. Uh, very, very long movie. After GFK, you know, why not do Nixon as well? So that's what he did right here with uh, Anthony Hopkins playing Nixon. You would think it was a, a weird choice, but uh, he actually pulls it off. So good for you, Anthony Hopkins. Mid-90s action movie, No Escape. Uh, Ray Liotta, Lance Erickson, Kevin Dillon, they're stuck on an island in a prison. And guess what? He's trying to escape. This is an Umbrella Entertainment release. Can't wait to watch it. A weird vanity project from uh, Dan Aykroyd, and this is nothing but trouble. 
Uh, it's just an ugly movie and not very funny, but the cast, Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, Demi Moore, uh, directed by Dan Aykroyd. Did he write it as well? Yeah, he wrote it. So it is just, I guess if you want to go inside the man's head of Dan Aykroyd's head, this is the representation. <laughs> Nothing but trouble is what you get. So there you go. 1992, Nowhere to Run, Van Damme. Mr. Van Damme, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude, with uh, Rosanna Arquette playing his love interest in this. I remember this because she had a, a nude in this one, so <laughs> that's probably the only thing remarkable about that movie. New Jack City! Wesley Snipe, Ice-T, Chris Rock, Myro Van Peeble, who uh, directed it, and John Nilsson. I mean, classic urban action movie from the early 90s. Who doesn't love New Jack City? A fun little, I want to say teen movie, I guess. I don't know. Um, Nick and Nora's Infinite, Infinite Playlist. A very New York movie. They go from club, one club to the next. Watching this right now would be uh, just so sad because it's just uh, about going to see shows and loving, you know, indie music and stuff. And uh, it's, it's, a fun little, it's a fun little movie right here. Then we have... Uh, <clears throat> Nightmare Beach, Umberto Lenzi, John Saxon, Michael Parks, little slasher movie from uh, the, the, the Italian right here, Nightmare Beach. Some Tim Burton with uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I got the uh, two disc collector's edition, that box that came with the uh, this thing. I don't know what it is, but uh, I know a lot of people go nuts with this movie. I think it's just okay. It's just okay. I much prefer Ed Wood or Batman or even Mars Attack. You know, this is, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Then I have uh, <clears throat> Night of the Living Dead, the two disc collector's edition. So Umbrella released uh, the original 1968 classic and the remake from 1990, all on one uh, Blu-ray. And I love the way they split this in two like this. It's really cool. I think they only made like uh, 2300 that's and I got uh, 721 right here but uh, yeah you can want, watch one after the the other and uh, decide which one you prefer I would go for the 1968 version but uh, the 1991 is pretty good too pretty good too how about some 80s neon LA movie the no man's land Charlie Sheen DB Sweeney Randy Quaid uh, you know, it's all about sleek cars and hot women living on the fast lane. There you go. No man's land right here. Then we have <clears throat> the Octogon, Chuck Norris, Lee Van Cleef. This is a, a Scorpion releasing movie. Uh, you know, when uh, Chuck Norris was in the the <clears throat> martial arts mode, like when he did actually good movies, this is one of his okay movies I, I dug it i love this cover artwork by the way it is it is amazing almost done folks almost done then we have some canuck horror in with of unknown origins right here peter weller and a, a killer rat shot right here in montreal directed by george picosmatos who also did cobra classic stallone uh, this will be my next filming location video coming out uh, early next month because I'm gonna I got five uh, Already shot so once a month. I'm gonna release one of those and this is this is the next one. It's a uh, it's great. It is great Classic comedy from the 2000s office space Mike judge I mean uh, What what else what more can you say about this uh, perfect movie right here? Charlton Heston, the Omega Man, alone in New York City, fighting, fighting. But, but, but it's uh, I Am Legend, who uh, Will Smith, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Will Smith did the, the remake of, and uh, just seeing him live alone in a big city like this, just seeing uh, New York City all deserted, much like what we experienced for, uh, back in April and May. It must have been something to see. So there you go. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Next to last is The Omen, Gregory Peck, special edition right here. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm wanting to get the uh, Screen Factory, 
box set. Uh, looks really amazing. Uh, there you go. The Omen. And then, finally, for this, for this shelf number 10, Omen 2. William Holden, Lee Grant. Uh, I've yet to see this one. I've seen the first one. I've not seen this one. I'm sure it's the best. I'm sure it's great. So, uh, yeah, that is it. That is it for shelf number 10 for my series, uh, Library Shelves Overview, my entire movie collection. I hope you've enjoyed this somehow. I don't know. I'm sure you have somewhere, <laughs> somewhere out there. But uh, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see this again, somehow it'll be on my YouTube channel. So there you go. I will bid you a good day and a good evening. So long. So long, good people.